You know, Steps to Knowledge is really teaching us to think in alignment with knowledge. So one of the, one of the streams of development, there are several streams in Steps to Knowledge, is to teach us to think almost like knowledge thinks. So the two minds within us can begin to build a bridge and resonate with each other and become more coherent and integrated with each other. <clears throat> but you know, throughout Steps to Knowledge and the teaching of the New Message, it creates, keeps creating this picture of what happens when you go back to your spiritual family, when you leave the world. This is a reoccurring theme, <clears throat> excuse me, it's like a reoccurring scenario that it presents to you. So you go back to your spiritual family, and at that point, you know, the illusions and the dominance of the world and your fixations all leave you, <laughs> for the most part. And there you are, as you originally were, like you were before you came into the world, and the senior members of your spiritual family, which are your inner teachers, so to speak, will ask you, did you accomplish what you set out to do? And I want you to think about what the question is. <clears throat> it's not, did you realize what you needed to realize? It's not, did you purify yourself to the level at which you needed? It's not, did you <clears throat> attain happiness or contentment or lasting peace? What they ask you is, did you accomplish what you set out to do? That question holds the meaning of your life. There's three elements to what really matters, essentially, when you boil everything down. What you do, what you serve, and why you serve. What you went through along the way, the peaks, the valleys, the wonderful moments of realization, the deep pits of despair, confusion, anxiety, um, recklessness, self-destruction. In the end, it matters what you do, what you serve, why you serve. So if what you did in life <clears throat> doesn't lead you to what you served or meant to serve, and doesn't refine your attention, intentions for serving, your responsibility, your motivation, your determination, knowledge, then it's that you didn't get the job done. Because where we've all come from is a place of being into a place in the world of doing. If self-realization does not lead to real constructive action beyond what is self-gratifying or meaningful to you, then it doesn't register. Because they never ask, what did you realize down on earth? It's what did you do? And what you do has to really meaningfully do with what you serve and why you serve.